Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Before we begin, please leave a like on this video. Also leave a comment and subscribe and tell us more content that you want to see on this channel. Now let's have an honest conversation. If you hold a Cisco certification, you know you have to maintain that Cisco certification. And that means you have to write exams at that level or higher to maintain your certification or you have to go through the Cisco Continuing Education Program. Now after Cisco overhauled their Cisco certifications, it's now a bit tricky on how to recertify because there are more exams that you need to write. Before Cisco overhauled, you only had to write just one certification exam at that level or higher but now you have to write a mix uh, of two exams or you have to take the continuing education the continuing education program might be the best way for people to recertify their certifications in that now since you have to take two exams that means you have to read for those exams and you have to write those exams so there's two processes involved but now with the continuing education program you only have to read the content that's available on the cisco catalog uh, which e which means you can either go through online classes or you can go through instructor-led classes that are available on the Cisco Continuing Education Program portal. Now, this is flexible in that you can read for this content at your own pace if you are taking the online classes, but if you are taking the instructor-led classes, you have to abide by the speed of the instructor-led classes. So, if you are going to be taking the online content, you can at your own pace after you finish reading that content you can use those credits towards your recertification now at different levels you have a number of credits that you need in order to recertify for example at the associate level you need 30 credits to recertify at the professional level you need 80 credits to recertify and at the expert level you need 120 credits to recertify. Now I'm just going to show you on the screen there are many online content that you can go through that is various number of credits available to that content. Now the beauty of this is for example if you have a certification in routing and switching you are not only limited to content which is specific to routing and switching. You can take any other content as long as it's available on the portal on the catalog you can take that content and read on that content after you finish reading you get your credits accredited to you now this is a flexible way of also learning new things in such a way that you are not only limited to the current track that you are at you can also take other content from other tracks and read on that and that will be accredited to your recertification as always guys, thank you for watching and leave a comment below and tell us more content that you want to see on this channel and never stop learning.